Hello everybody, I am Baljit Dhaka uh, from Pinnacle Coaching Center. Today there is very special presentation. As you know, there is a special series and this, and this series is a little bit high, higher level as compared to what we are expecting in SSC CGL, the real exam. The purpose of the higher level, which is around 20 to 30 percent higher level, you can say, is that so that strengths can understand, strength can feel heat, pressure and how do they perform under pressure and this is also on a particular time. So there are two factors which will make it more uh, difficult as compared to our normal test series. So the question number one is, question number one, a load got an order from garment manufacturer for 480 denim shirts. He bought 12 sewing machines and appointed some expert tailor to do that job. However, many did not report for the duty. As a result, each of these those who did had to stitch 32 more shirts than originally planned by the by Lord. With equal distribution of work, how many tailors had been appointed earlier and how many had not reported for work? If you find such kind of question, obviously you need to, if you will work like X, Y, Z, it can take time. So better would be do through option. Now in option you see there are 480, 480 shirt, 12 machines were appointed. You can say both uh, 12 machine and appointed some expert tailor to do the job. However, many did not report for the duty. As a result, each of those who did uh, had to stitch 32 more shirts. So you can say, let, uh, let's take the first option, it means 12. Question here is how many tailors had been appointed earlier? If it had been appointed earlier 12, then 40 would have been set, would have been uh, he was sewing. In other case, he is saying that, he is saying that, uh, earlier and how many had not reported for the work? If four were not reported for the work, it means eight reported for the work. Eight reported for the work. So sixty shirts were swimming by the these uh, the, 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 by those who joined the work. So twenty should be the difference, but if the difference here is thirty-two, so first cannot be the answer. Let's take. The answer uh, C or you can also take uh, B. If we, if we take C then 480 divided by 10 that is 48 shirt per tailor and here in this case 480 divided by four, uh, 10 plus you can say 10 minus 4 that is 6 reported. So 6 reported it means 80 shirt per tailor and in earlier case 48, it means the difference is 32. It means difference is 32. So answer is C. Earlier it was 32, uh, 10 tailor were appointed and which were supposed to see 48 shirts but due to some reasons 4 not reported, it means 6 reported. Now they have to see 80 shirts. So difference here is 32 shirts. Next question, question number 52. A man sells chocolate that come in boxes, either full boxes or half a boxes of the chocolate can be bought from him. Either full boxes or half a box. A customer comes and buy half the number of boxes. Half the number of boxes. The seller has plus half a box. A second customer comes and buy half the remaining number of boxes plus half a box. After this the seller is left with no chocolate box. How many chocolate boxes did the seller have before the first customer came? It means we have to find the number of chocolate box the, per, the seller had earlier initially. So again if you find this kind of question try to do by option technique. Now if he had two then two and half the number of boxes the seller has plus half a box. 2 divided by 2. Half the boxes means 1. 
half thousand one one we have taken one a option then m plus half means one point five so this option is not possible because the second customer come and then he he has taken half of the remaining plus half so that is not possible because only half is left so this is not possible a let's say, say that uh, take option b option b and what is the question half of a 3 that is 1.5 plus half that is 2 half of the box is that is 1.5 and plus half of the box half box means 0.5 that is 2 2 has uh, has been taken by first customer and the remaining is 1 half of 1 half 1 is 0.5 plus half plus half because the second customer is taking half of the remaining plus half half of remaining is 0.5 or plus half is 0.5 that is 1 it means after taking 1 the uh, remainder would be 0 it means this option is the answer this option is the answer next question question number 53 find the sum of the sum of sum of even divisors of 96 and sum of all divisors of a 3600 3600 division here he is talking about the factors for example let's take 96 96 if we make factor it would be like this like this you can write in this format in this format you can right so here we have to find the sum of the even division so even division can be you can say 2 it can be sum of even division sum that's why sum we have taken 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 power 5, these are the divisors, these are the divisors, for example, 96 is divided by 4, 96 is also divided by 4, 2, 96 is divided by 8, 96 is divided by 16, 96 is also divided by 32, so all these are the divisors of a 92 and these are all are OS even divisors and you can say but 96 is also divided by 6 like so that's why 3 power 0 and 3 power 1 we have taken because 3 power 0 is 1 it means it is also divided by in this format 3 1 you can say for example 4 into 2 uh, 2 into 2 that is 4 and into 3 you can say uh, 96 is also divided by 12 so in this format we generally write such kind of when question uh, comes in this format now see it would be 3 power 0 is equal to 1 plus 3 1 it means 4 4 into 2 power 5 32 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 that is 62 62 into 4 that is 248 now we have done this 96 now the next is sum of all division of 3600 3600 this is all division you can say all division we have to find 3600 we can write in this format 3600 and then we will find otherwise you can do manually just to explain I am uh, you can do by only in your mind but here to make you understand I am doing in this format now so you can say we have factor 2 2 into we have factor in this format 2, 2, 2, 2, but we have to take only even, we have to take only even, 
then if we have we have to take even then how will we write? We can write in this format. Uh, <coughs> 3 0 that is 3 1 3 2 because 1 and 2 1 2 and 3 power 0 is 1 and 5 0 here 2 times 5 is 2 times 5 is 2 times and also you can write here 2 power 0 because 2 power 0 is 1 you want to write then it will become 9 plus 3 30, you can say 9 plus 3, 12 plus 1, 13, 13 into 31, uh, 31 we will, will get 403. Now sum of these two we have to find, sum of these two we have to find 651, 651 is the answer. Question number 54, now here the question is find the remainder Find the remainder when 73, 75, 78, 57, 197 and 37 is divided by 34. So here you can divide, if you divide by 34 then we will get 5 remainder into uh, 75 divided by 34 that is 34 into 2 is 68, 68, 75 minus 68, 7, 6, 78 minus uh, 34 that is uh, 68 that is 10, 57. 57 minus 34 that is 23 and again 197 and here you can write into 4 you can write here 5 into 5 and the remainder would be in this case 27 27 and 37 if I divide by 34 remainder would be 3 remainder would be 3 if I again divide by 34 then we will have 5 to 7 35 divided by 4 1 and here 10 into 23 that is 230 230 divided by 34 we will have if we divide by 7 uh, if we multiply 34 to 7 then we will get we will have multiplied by 6 then remainder would be ha would have 26 230 minus 204 remainder would be 26 and again from this 3 uh, 23 into 3 that is 81 81 if I divide by 34 remainder would be 13 remainder would be 13 divided by 34 and 26 into 13, 338 divided by 34. Again, if I divide by, it will go by 9. 9 306. The remainder would be 32. 32 is the answer. 32 is the answer. So, if you find such kind of question, what we have to do is that you continue divided by this uh, 34 or whatever the uh, amount is given ultimately you will reach at the remainder for example let's take a simple example let's take 6 into 7 if i multiply it it would remainder how much would be the remainder how would be the remainder now you can multiply you can divide by 6 divided, um, uh, divided by 5 remainder would be 1 and 7 divided by 5 remainder would be 2 7 divided by 5 remainder would be 2, 1 into 2 that is 2, 2 should be the answer. Similarly, if you find 7 into 6, 42, 42 divided by 5 that is remainder is 2. So, either you follow this method, uh, multiply all this and divide by then 5 or in this case multiply all this and divide by 34 otherwise you can calculate by this method, this technique, this very very important technique, you must learn this technique. If you find the question in this format, you can easily find this. Now question number 55, question here is given, a test has 80 questions, there is one mark for a correct answer, while there is a negative penalty for of 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 you will find for wrong answer and minus 1 by 5 you will get for 
if you will not attempt any question what is the number of question answered correctly if the student has scored a net total of 34.5 marks now if a, it, there are 80 question and in this case if he does wrong answer then one minor one plus one because he has done the question and because he has done a uh, wrong answer that's why point five will also be deducted it means if he has done one wrong then total from 80 will be minus one, uh, one point minus uh, 1.5 will be minus and he if he does not attempt any question then what will happen one because he has consumed one question plus 0.25 without any answer so 1.25 1.25 if he does not attempt will be deducted from the total now ultimately what does he do he goes 34.5 marks it means total deduction is you can say 45.5 marks is the total deduction either 1.5 now we have to make combination in this format 1.5 and 1.2 and the total should be here here we have to find some questions we have to find some question so that the score the total sum would become 45.5 because total mass detected is 45.5 this combination can be in many format in many format now the question is given what is the number of question answered correctly question answer correctly if the student has scored a net total of 34.5 now from this if he scored 45 45 correct 45 it means how many wrong 35 wrong Th either unattempted uh, from 35 or uh, un unattempted or wrong you can say the combination can be in different perspective so answer would be d why d because we cannot say that how many were wrong and how many were unattempted because the because the combination can be many direction can be many that's why the answer cannot be determined but the format should be like this if one answer is wrong then 1.5 and if one answer is unattempted then 1.25 would be detected and total 45.5 that is 34.5 has got it means 45.5 has been deducted and in which ratio we cannot say that's why the answer is cannot be determined otherwise you can also find by option and see the answer which is correct now the next question 56 if a clock strike once at once at one o'clock twice at two o'clock and 12 times at 12 o'clock and again once at one o'clock and so on how many times will the bell be stuck in the course on two days read this question carefully pause the slide and try to solve this question now it is given one time at one o'clock two time at two o'clock two two o'clock two times three o'clock three times in this way in two days in two days 12 hours then again 12 hours in one day then 12 hours and 12 hours again it means you can say 12 is four times so one is four times two is four times three is four times every every uh, every uh, hour is of four times you can say for example one o'clock one o'clock would be in first day morning evening second day morning evening and uh, two o'clock morning evening morning evening in this way it will go now the question is it has been asked from in the question that how many times how many times how many times will the bell be stuck in the course on two days now see you can say four times eight and in this way now it will be 12 here 12 and in this way 48 because 12 into 4 48 12 o'clock four times it will happen then 48 we have written in this format 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock and 4 times 4 8 
and we have to find the sum of these we have to find the sum of these and it will be you can take this is the series you can say and take this 48 plus 4 52 42 divided by 2 that is 26 is the average if to average if you multiply to average by the number of terms and here the number of term is 12 from 1 pm 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock number of term is 12 so you will find the answer 312 312 is the answer b is the answer what we have done is that we have just added all this and what is the method of adding 4 plus a plus l starting and um, last point divided by 2 it will be the mean and divide by uh, divide by number of turns you will get the answer question number 57 a bus goes to Ranchi from Patna at the rate of 60 km per hour another bus leaves Ranchi for Patna at the same time at the first bus at the first bus at the rate of 70 km per hour find the average speed for the journey of the two buses combined if it is known that distance from the Ranchi to Patna is 420 now what is the uh, uh, what is the trick for uh, average average speed total distance divided by total time and total distance would be 420 into 2 that is a 40 8 40 and total time is to cover 420 60 km per hour it will take 7 hour and to cover 420 with the speed of 70 km per hour it will take 6 hour so 6 plus 7 that is 13 13 if you divide by 840 to 13 you will get the average total speed that would be around 64.6 64.6 point something so a should be the answer however the answer is very close so you have to be very careful otherwise you can do silly mistakes you should avoid silly mistake that is more important in tough competition now the next question is question number 58 a thief steals four gallons of liquid soap kept in a train compartments bathroom from a container that is full of liquid soap he then fills it with water to avoid detection unable to resist the temptation he steals four gallons of the mixture again and fill it with water when the liquid soap is checked at the station it is found that the ratio of the liquid soap now left in the container to that of the water in it is 36 point uh, ratio 13 what was the initial amount of water soap in the container if it is known that the liquid soap is neither used nor augmented by anybody else during the entire period during the entire period so if you find such kind of question how will you solve here it is given 36 is the soap solution and 13 is the water 13 is the water it means total solution is 39 uh, 6, uh, 49 36 plus 13 49 is the total solution and 36 is the soap and 13 is the water so 36 by 49 that is 36 and total solution is 49 so you can say we will have here 49 is the square of because it is 2 time it is 2 time so 7 into 7 it will be like this and 6 into 6 6 into 6 36 square of 6 into 6 it means here it would be 49 49 49 into 6 into 6 and here we will have 7 into 7 what is 49 49 is the initial you can say initially and then 6 bar 7 remains it means what is uh, what is has been, uh, what has been taken from this total solution you can say it will be if it is 49 parts then 1 by 7 1 minus 6 by 7 that is 1 by 7 so 1 by 7 part has been removed 1 by 7 part has been removed ultimately 1 by 7 in the first case and 1 by 7 in the second case that is 6 by 7 6 by 7 it would remain 
would it would remain so here here you will get 1 by 7 is the amount which has been it has been taken away and that is equal to 4 gallon 4 gallon it means it means one part would be equal to 4 into 7 if 1 by 7 is equal to 4 gallon one would be equal to 48 gallon so initially it was 40 and 28 gallon and 1 by 7 of it is removed initially and then again 1 by 7 of it removed again and the uh, remaining is 6 by 7 6 by 7 which is making it 36 by 49 so answer is 28 in this case 40 28 is the answer next question is question number 59 in an election between two candidates Biku gets 65 percent of the total marks total valid votes if the total votes were 6000 what is the number of a uh, valid votes that other candidate Mahatre gets if 25 percent of the total votes were declared invalid 25 percent of the total votes 6000 is the total vote 25% of 6000 that is 1500 is invalid it means valid is 6000 minus 1500 that is 4500 6000 into 25 percent means 1500 it means these are valid votes and 65 percent of the total valid votes is taken by Bhikkhu then Mahatra will get how much how many votes Mahatra will get 6500 minus 65 that is 35 percent of the valid vote 35 percent of the valid vote will be taken by Mahatre, the defeated candidate which will which is equal to 45 into 35 45 into 35 would be equal to 45 into 30 you can say and 1575 is the answer. Next question, question number 60. A sells a car priced at 36,000. He gives a discount of 8% on the first rupees 20,000 and 5% on the remaining 60,000. So on 8% on the first 20,000 and 5% on the remaining 16,000. His competitor B sells a car of the same make price at 36,000. If you want to be competitive, what percentage discount should be offered on the market price? The market price is 36,000. So, 20,000 into 8 percent that is 1600. And 16,000 into 500 that is 800. 16,000 into 500, uh, 5 percent that is 800. 2400 is the total discount given by A. It means he has to give second customer, a second seller has to give 2400 discount on 30,000 on 36,000 because the price is 36,000. Otherwise, he will not be in the competition. So, it would be it would be around. You can say 20 by 3. 20 by 3 should be the answer that is 6.66. C is the answer in this case. Now the next question, question number 61. A difference between interest issued from two different banks on rupees 400 for two years is rupees 4. What is the difference between their rates? On 400, on 400, for two years the difference is 4 because the simple interest is simple when nothing is given. For two years the difference is 4 years, for one year the difference would be 2 rupees. For one year difference would be 2 rupees on 400. On 100 it would be 0.5, answer is 0.5 percent. Percent means on 100 rupees. So on 100 it is 0.5, answer is A. Next question, question number 16. Two. The question is, Apurva can do a piece of work in 12 days. Apurva and Amit completed the work together and were paid rupees 54 and 81 respectively. How many days must they have taken to complete the work together? How many days? Now we have to find 
दे आर अपूर्वा एंड अमित अपूर्वा एंड अमित वर पेड इन द रेशियो फिफ्टी फोर इंटू फिफ्टी फोर एंड एटी वन वट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स दैट अमित एफिशंस इज मोर इफ अमित एफिशंस इज मोर देन दैट्स वाई ही इज बीन पेड मोर एंड द रेशियो इज फिफ्टी फोर रेशियो एट्टी वन इन द एफिशंसी सो इफ अपूर्वा इज डूइंग द वर्क इन ट्वेल्व डेज इट मीन्स अमित विल डूइंग लेस डेज एंड हाउ मेन लेस डेज यू कैन सी फिफ्टी फोर डिवाइड बाई एटी वन दिस द रेशियो यू कैन से इन एट डेज अमित विल डू द वर्क सो अपूर्वा इज डूइंग इन ट्वेल्व डेज अमित इज डूइंग इन एट डेज बोथ ऑफ विल डू द वर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक ट्वेंटी फोर यूनिट एज द टोटल वर्क एंड if he in 12 days he is doing 24 unit then in one day he will do two unit a days he is doing 24 unit in one day he will do three unit three unit so 2 plus 3 that is five unit they are doing work both together but total work is 24 unit so 25 by 5 that is 4.8 days should be the answer in this case नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 63 सुजीत कवर से डिस्टेंस इन 40 मिनट्स इफ ही ड्राइव ए स्पीड ऑफ 60 किलोमीटर पर आवर ऑन एन एवरेज ऑन एन एवरेज 60 किलोमीटर पर आवर इन 40 मिनट्स इट मींस द टोटल डिस्टेंस इज इफ ही इज कंप्लीटिंग 60 मिनट इन 60 किलोमीटर देन 40 मिनट्स ही विल कवर 40 किलोमीटर इफ ही इज स्पीड इज वन आवर सिक्सटी यू कैन से सिक्सटी मिनट सिक्सटी किलोमीटर इन फोर्टी मिनट ही इज ट्रेवलिंग द डिस्टेंस इट मीन फोर्टी किलोमीटर इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस फाइंड द स्पीड एट विच दी मस्ट ट्राइव टू रिड्यूस द टाइम ऑफ द जर्नी बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट टाइम ऑफ द जर्नी बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड वट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट फोर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज टेन परसेंट टेन मिनट ही वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूस That is, he want to complete the journey in a thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, he want to travel forty kilometer. In thirty minutes, he want to travel forty kilometer. It means in sixty minutes, he will travel eighty kilometer. So eighty kilometer he will travel in a sixty minutes. Means eighty kilometer per hour. Eighty kilometer per hour is the answer. Next question, question number sixty-four. A spherical pier of radius four centimeter. Is to be divided into equal eight equal parts by cutting it in halves along the same axis. This is in this way. You can say it will divide into eight parts. Find the surface area of each of the final piece. Surface area of each of the final piece. In this case, you can say this is and. In this format, you can say eight part will be there. So this the, this is the area which is you can say on the surface, and this is also the area this side as well as opposite of this side. So there are two side, and this is half circle. You can say because this is a uh, sphere, so this would be half circle. This is half circle, and Opposite of this would be behind of this would be half circle. It means half circle plus half circle complete circle. And area of complete circle is pi r square. And this is one eighth part. One eighth part means four pi r square is the surface area of entire sphere. And one by eight of this would become one by two pi r square. One by two pi r square. One eighth part. That is the Upper surface, not from the side. So total pi r square plus one by two pi r square means three by two pi r square. Three by two pi r square is the answer. But here r is given four, so r in four into four that is sixteen. You can say twenty four pi. Twenty four pi is the answer. Answer is C. Next question, question number sixty five. In the given circle, AC is the diameter. This is the diameter. Of the circle, ED is parallel to AC. ED, this is parallel to AC. CBE, CBE, sixty-five. Find the DEC. DEC. 
this we have to find d e c we have to find if this is 65 it means in half circle angle form would be this angle would be you can say total is 90 then this would be 90 minus 65 that is 25 90 minus 65 that is 25 is the this angle so from the same base from the same base if this is 25 then it will be also 25 because from the same base or code the angle formed at the circumference would be same so if this is 25 then this would be 25 because the base is same if this is 25 then it will be 25 because this is alternate angle in parallel side this is 25 then it will be 25 answer is D next question question number 66 radius of a circle is 9 centimeter radius of circle is 9 centimeter and length of one of its code is 14 find the distance of the code from the center if this is 9 because this is radius and from the center if we draw perpendicular then it will divide the code into two parts and if it is total 14 then 7 and 7 it means 9 7 and through Pythagoras we can calculate this which is we have to find 9 into 9 that is 81 minus 7 into 7 that is 49 and square of if we take the root then we will have 32 root 32 means 4 root uh, 2 or you can say you can say in this case this is equal to 4 into 1.41 around you will get the answer A A would be the answer in this now the question number question number 67 what is the question question here it is given a wire is looped in the form of a circle wire is looped in the form of a circle of radius 28 centimeter it is built again into a square form what will be the length of the diagonal of the largest square possible thus now we know the trick and what is the trick area of circle area of circle is given here you can say area of circle which is given 28 into 28 and is equal to always 4 into area of a area of square which is equal to 1 by 2 into t squared and divided by pi pi means 22 by 7 22 by 7 so from here you can find 22 into 22 because it will go this side into 4 into 2 which is equal to d square and we have to find the value of a d so d would be this would be the value of d and it's equal to this would be equal to equal to 22 into 2 because the root of 4 is 2 and 22 into 22 we have taken 1 so 44 root 2 should be the answer 44 root 2 b is the answer here we have used the trick that is area of circle is always equal to 4 into area of square divided by pi and area of square is 1 by 2 d square a race track is in the form of ring whose inner and outer circumference are 352 meter and 396 meter respectively find the width of the track we have to find the width of the track now you can say the circumference circumference is 2 pi r or here you can write in this format which is equal to the difference is 352 and 396 396 and 352 difference is 44 so here you can write in place of pi 22 by 7 22 by 7 42 44 cancel 44 and r minus r you will get 7 here we have to find the width of the track that is r minus r answer is 7 meter question number 69 here if for two real constant and a and b 
द एक्सप्रेशन ए एक्स थ्री प्लस थ्री एक्स टू माइनस एट एक्स प्लस बी इज एक्सैक्टली डिविजन बाय एक्स प्लस टू एंड एक्स माइनस टू इट मीन्स यू कैन मेक इट एक्स माइनस टू एंड एक्स प्लस टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू बिकॉज दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बी जीरो वेन वी विल डिवाइड बाय we will put here the value you can say in this format let me write this here 3x square plus 8 it is minus in fact it is minus in fact and then minus 8x plus b and if i put minus 2 and then it will be zero because it will it's divisible digi exactly divisible means it will make it zero Let me put first one minus two and then two. We will have two ex, uh, equation and from these two equation we can find the value of a, b and a. So if I put minus two, we will get x is minus two. We will get minus eight a plus uh, minus two into two minus two. For you get twelve. Then sixteen and then. B is equal to zero. You can say here you can write minus eight a plus b is equal to minus twenty eight. And here next expression is put here x is equal to two. Then we will get eight a plus twelve minus sixteen. Plus b is equal to zero, and then you will find eight a here. It will be eight a. Eight a plus b is equal to twelve minus sixteen. That is minus four. And from is the it will go this side. It will become four. So two b is equal to here. You will find two b is equal to from this expression two b is equal to minus twenty eight plus four. That is Minus twenty four. B value is minus twelve. C in this expression only in one case value of B is minus twelve. Answer is C. In fact, you can further proceed for to calculate the value of A. Otherwise, don't, there is no need because only in one case the value of B is minus twelve. The next question is question number seventeen. The value of the value of this expression we have to find. Now you can rationalize it. You can rationalize. Then we will find here in the 3.25 minus 2.25 because we have multiplied it and divided by it from the same uh, uh, same expression. That is multiplied by root uh, root 3.25 and minus root 2.25 and also divided by the same expression. Ultimately, in the denominator, we will get a plus b and a minus b. A square it will three point two five, and b square that is two point two five, and the difference would be one. When the square of the difference is one, there is no need to write. Again, in this case also, we will find four point two five minus root three point two five. There is no need to write anything in the denominator because here the value would be one, and here in this case. Root five point two five minus four point two five four point two five plus six point two five and minus five point two five and we will get cancel here we will get four is from this cancel and this to this cancel we will go get here six point two five six point two five minus two point two five. Root. This is the answer, and answer is you can say six twenty five by hundred, and six twenty five. That is root of six twenty five is twenty five twenty five by hundred ten uh, uh, because root of hundred is ten. So it means two point five two point five minus minus two twenty by hundred twenty five by hundred and root of two twenty five that is fifteen and root of hundred is ten fifteen minus uh, fifteen divided by ten that is one point five. So 2.5 minus 1.5 is equal to 1. Answer is in this case. Answer is in this case A. Now the next question is question number 
तो बेस ऑफ ए राइट प्रिजम इज एन इक्वलेटेड ट्रेंगल इक्वलेटेड वट इज प्रिजम प्रिजम इज ऑलवेज इन दिस फॉर्मेट यू विल फाइंड एंड बट हेयर द बेस इज सेम The difference between pyramid and prism is the prism is always in this format parallel lines and pyramid is like uh, parallel to similar uh, similar to you can say a cone and prism is similar to cylinder. So base of right prism is an equilateral triangle and this is equilateral triangle base. If the lateral surface area and volume is 120 and 4 uh, 30 respectively, then side of the base of the prism would be how much? We have to find the base of the now the volume is volume is area of the base into height and area of the base is root three by four a square into height because this is equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle into height which is equal to forty root three you can say it is cancel and we will have you can say force uh, A into A into S divided is equal to 160. In the second expression, it is given the lateral surface area. Lateral surface area would means perimeter into height. And perimeter of equilateral triangle is 3A. 3A into height is equal to 120. 120. Or you can say A into S is equal to 40. A into S is equal to 40. So A into 40 is equal to 160. You can say A is equal to 4, which we have to find. Which we have to find. Value of A is equal to 4. The next question is question number 72. AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 0. Then the value of A we have to find the value of this expression. Here in this case you can put the value. For example, if we put A is equal to 2. A is equal to two, B is equal to two, then two into two four, and if we put C is equal to one minus one, you can say because we have to make it zero. So two minus one that is minus two, and C that is minus one into two minus two. So four minus two minus two is equal to zero. So equation is satisfied when A is equal to two, B is equal to two, C is equal to minus one. Now put the, the these value in this expression. A square that is. That is four and two minus one. That is four minus two. Four a square is four. Four minus b and c. B and c is two. That is one by two plus b square. Four minus c and a two. One by two plus c square. C square is equal to one. Plus minus AB. Minus AB means A to B. One one C square is one minus. You can write here two plus two. That is you will have two into two four. Two into four, and you can say here. You can say here. Just just write. A square minus B C. A square that is four. Uh, here you can write four and minus B C minus B and C. That is minus two and into minus. That is two. So it will be one by six. One by six and it will also be one by six and it will be one by three. It will be one by three. So one by six plus one by six is equal to One by three and one by three of minus. One by three of minus, it will become zero. Answer is A. You can say here we can put the value and from value put in this expression we will get the answer. Next question, question number seventy-three. Question number question here is given secant minus one, secant and minus one. You can write in this format. One by cos here, one minus one by cos theta minus one, and one by cos theta minus plus one, plus one, and root is in this format. So we will get the value here. 
here we will get the value 1 by cos you can write in this format that is 1 and minus cos theta and here 1 plus cos theta divided by cos theta and cancel so 1 minus cos theta and here 1 plus cos theta you can rationalize it then you can rationalize it by here you can write minus cos square theta cos square here you multiply it by 1 minus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta we will have 1 minus cos square a plus b and my a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square and which is equal to which is equal to a minus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta so here root of this root of this would become 1 minus cos theta and divided by sin theta divided by sin theta ultimately you can say 1 by here you can write here to this you can write 1 by sin theta and minus cos theta divided by sin theta 1 minus sin, 1 divided by sin theta is equal to cos theta and minus cos theta divided by sin theta is equal to cot theta so cos theta minus cot theta is the answer cos theta minus cot theta is the answer otherwise you can try through by putting value but because it is it can uh, find you can find it to in uh, answering two that's why it is better to use this because it is more easy in this case particular now question number 74 here the question is if x is equal to a sin theta plus cos theta y is equal to b sin theta minus cos theta then we have to find the value of this you can say x by a x by a you bring this to the side then is equal to sin theta plus cos theta and y by b is equal to sin theta minus cos theta if you square of these and then add then add so we will have here sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus sin theta in place of this you can write sin theta sin square plus cos square plus minus sorry minus 2 sin theta cos theta it will cancel and it will become 2 sin square theta plus cos square theta so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 2 into 1 that is 2 would be the answer in this case now the question number 75 here it is given the length of the three median of a triangle are 9 12 and 15 area of the triangle we have to find length of triangle equal this is the, the length and median are in this format you can say if it is 9 then centroid divide the median into two parts into 2 is to 1 ratio that is 6 and 3 and 12 it is 12 then 8 and 4 so 6 8 if there is two lines 6 8 then it will make triplet 6 8 10 it will make triplet 6 8 10 and volume uh, area of 6 8 10 would be 1 by 2 base that is 6 height in this case it would become 8 so you can say 24 centimeter square is the area of a one triangle and there would be same area triangle there will be three same area triangle that is 22 into 3 74 would be the area of entire entire triangle 72 is the answer in this case so from triplet concept we can easily find the answer of this so in this way we have done all the so we have solved all the question of a special test series which is little bit on the higher side and in these 25 question we are expecting i am expecting that you should could have done 23 24 correct immediately uh, in this uh, time limit so uh, this was the presentation about this first uh, first test of this particular series Thank you very much for watching this presentation. All the best.